So what's up guys, so we just pulled up to my boy Chris's house, uh, just left the bike shop, had to get my bike fixed, and if you guys don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, your boy got a new bike, as you can see in the background right there. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a real quick walk around, show you, you know, let you guys check out my bike, show you guys, you know, what's got me so excited right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, like I said, we got the new bike, it's a red line. 27 and a half ASAP Ferg edition as you can see you got the ASAP Ferg right here red line uh, this isn't a sticker either this is uh, this is painted on there so I think that's really cool as you can see first thing that sticks out we got the meat on the tires these beefy tires right here we got the disc brakes going on um, I really like this so we have disc brakes in the front too but I took those off I still left the little brake pad up there uh, not the brake pad but the little brake rotor right here um, I might take it off might leave it up there really don't know um, as you can see might leave it up there I don't know yet um, really digging this color the tune tone fades in the black right here as you can see really dope really really dope I really like it I've been looking for a 29 inch BMX bike for a little bit now so came across this bike like I said it's a 27 and a half you know they call it the RL 275 um, but this thing with these beefy tires with these big tires it feels like a 29 inch bike um, my seats a little high right now I'm trying to learn how to do willies so definitely gonna be doing some videos on that too as well I like these handlebars I was thinking about changing these out when I first initially bought the bike uh, when I saw it online but after getting the bike I think they really look dope I think they go with the bike pretty well so I'm thinking about keeping those once my homeboy Chris comes downstairs I'm gonna see if he can get me some uh, clips of me doing some willies and stuff and yeah we can uh, go from there <laughs> My boy Chris just came downstairs. About to give him the camera. About to play this whole parking lot one time. There you go. Lean back more. It's the pull. The second you stop pulling, that's when you go down. It's not even in your feet, it's in your arms. In your arms, keep it the whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you, it's in them armies. Yep, yep. <laughs> Little pro tips right there. <laughs> like they said, always hang around people that are better than you and whatever else the cold is. But we're about to get to this ride real quick, so I'm gonna catch you guys there. get on this ride so we're about to get into this tutorial real quick i got a taper coming for you guys so hope you guys enjoy it catch you guys later all right guys back with another tutorial today's video we're going to be doing a taper on my little brother devin we're also going to be throwing two little parts in the back my brother devin he was probably one of the first people i really started practicing on when i started to go into barber school so i've done this cut probably about a billion times i really enjoy it and uh, i think you guys are going to really enjoy it too so let's go ahead and get into it so first we're going to be using my t outliners to set my initial bald guideline we're going to be doing this right above the ear to ensure i have enough room when i start this taper to blend 
Now with my black FX's, I'm gonna go ahead and start my second guideline with the lever all the way open, make sure this is about a half an inch to an inch wide. Now after I set this guideline, I'm gonna start to play with my lever to try to take this line out. So I'm gonna start in the middle and then I'm gonna go to close and then I'm just gonna play with the lever to try to get the remainder of the line out. Now with my half guard, I'm gonna be repeating the same steps. I'm gonna set my third guideline with the lever all the way open. Now that I have that guideline set, I'm gonna come in with the lever halfway closed and then I'm gonna close it all the way to take out the remainder of that line. Now there was a little line left behind, so with my clipper all the way open, no guard, I'm just gonna go ahead and flick at that line to try to take it out as best as possible. I got my number one guard on my clipper now, and I'm gonna repeat that same steps. So I'm gonna set that guideline, go to the middle, then close, and I'm just gonna play with that lever to take out any remainder of the line that's left over. So the number two guard is gonna be the highest guard that I'm gonna be using. So with the lever all the way open, I'm gonna flick at the top of his taper to kind of blend into his curls. I'm not trying to set a guideline. I'm just trying to soften up this area as much as possible. Now with my half guard lever open, I'm gonna to continue to flick at this bulk to try to blend into my one guard lever open. So with my skeleton FX trimmers, I'm gonna go ahead and start to line up this side of the taper. When it comes to tapers, I normally like to line up one side first so I can see if there's any imperfections that I may need to come back and touch up on. All right, now onto the back of the taper. Now, as you can see, guys, my brother's hair is super easy to fade. It's not difficult at all. The hair falls right off when I struggle with the clippers. And I've done this haircut a million times. So now for the back, we're gonna be repeating the same exact steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by balding them out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my second guideline clipper all the way open. Now I've got my half guard lever all the way open. I'm gonna go ahead and set that third guideline, guys. Then I'm gonna come back with the lever in the middle, then close to take that line out. Now with my number one guard, lever all the way open, we're gonna set our fourth guideline.
Now with my number two guard, we're just gonna go ahead and flick at this bulk. Remember, we're not trying to set a line, we're just trying to debulk this top portion into his curls as much as possible. Now with this one and a half guard, we're gonna continue to flick at this bulk to blend into the one with the lever all the way open. Now with my T outliners, we're gonna go ahead and start to edge them up. Now be mindful that you wanna follow the natural shape of his neck. You don't wanna take it in too much. You want it to be as natural as possible so when that new growth comes back in, it doesn't look too crazy. Now my brother normally likes to get two little parts in the back of his taper, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the first line. We're gonna make this line a little bit longer than what we're gonna be making the second line. Now onto the right side of his taper. Now guys, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing that I did for his left in the back of his taper. So I'm gonna speed this up and I'm gonna let you guys watch. But if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button too. I really do appreciate it. I just wanna thank you guys for rocking with my tutorial. It really means a lot to me. And you know, I'm just gonna keep on dropping them. So thanks guys. All right, so now for the front of his edge up, I'm gonna take my clippers with the one guard lever all the way open, and I'm gonna start to taper down his front hairline region. This just helps to lay the hair down so when I hit it with the edgers, the hair falls off smoothly. Now with my T outliners, I'm gonna start in the middle and then work my way out using my mirror to make sure the hairline is symmetrical.
All right, guys, so here's the before. And here's the after. Pretty easy, simple taper. Now, guys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button too as well. And until next time, guys, I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.